from Tampa Bay Streaming News Leader, this is ABC Action News. I'm Dee O'Reilly. Prepare for the return of afternoon showers today. Greg D will have your full forecast coming up. But first, let's get to your ABC Action News headlines. Haines City Police want you to be on the lookout for a car believed to be a shelver, a silver Chevy Impala. They say the driver might be the person accused of harassing a woman for months. Someone has shot fireworks and paintballs at her home. She's also received threatening text messages. A Tampa pastor is asking his congregation to pray for the man accused of breaking into their church early yesterday morning. Seminole Heights Baptist Church pastor Brant Adams says he confronted Miguel Rivera and held him at gunpoint until officers got there. Pastor Adams is hoping that Rivera will get the help that he needs. The, the hope is, is that he doesn't, that he comes to a point to understand that there's other options than trying to break in and steal something from someone else. Rivera was taken to a hospital because he hurt himself breaking in through a window. Liberal activist groups are coming together tonight to demand the end of detention centers. Images of undocumented immigrants packed into those centers. They're just disturbing. They're also heartbreaking. Lights for Liberty rallies are happening across the country, including tonight at 7 at the Allendale United Methodist Church in St. Pete and in Ybor City Centennial Park. The protests come two days before the Trump administration begins raids targeting people illegally in the U.S. A brand in business is urging you to check the cash in your wallet. They say a customer came in with a very good counterfeit $100 bill, bought some food using the fake money, and then pocketed the change. To make sure that this doesn't happen to you, there are a couple of ways to make sure that your cash is legit. Is legit. First, feel the money. Some scammers print their bills on linen or other materials. It will feel different from legitimate bills. Also, make sure the watermarks are in place. We've got a link with more ways to check your bills. It's posted right now on ABCActionNews.com. Also, don't be alarmed if standing water on St. Pete streets looks a little funny. City crews are using a dye to test the storm water and sanitary sewer systems. It's non-toxic and harmless to animals and plants, but the dye is very visible. You could see a bright green discoloration around a storm drain. And those storm drains are going to be working overtime, but they already have been, Craig. Absolutely, Dan. That's one of the reasons you may see it. You know, St. Pete, uh, the water fills up pretty quickly there. And with more showers or downpours coming in this afternoon, uh, you could definitely see some of that bright green on the city streets. Uh, rain coverage today a little bit lower than yesterday. Also, the opportunity for storms a little shorter than yesterday. We are trending toward a drier weekend, so let's talk about it. Saturday and Sunday, more typical July weather. It's not going to be completely dry. July is a wet, humid, cloudy month, but the rain will be later in the afternoon and mainly toward evening, and that means it'll be hotter with more sun and more time to enjoy your time outside. Dia? <laughs> Baby Shark Live is coming to the Strath Center on October 5th. The show is going to feature Baby Shark singing and dancing adventure into the shade. Tickets will on sale at noon on the Strath's website. Get them now. You can get news updates all day long on your favorite streaming device. And don't forget to download the free ABC Action News mobile app to see breaking news alerts.